What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out what I have been hyping up for the last almost two months. What cost me over $10,000. Finally, I can show it to you all and I'm super happy with it. Let's look at it. That's right, folks. Flankster has got blue box hyper, full silicone half torso, life-size bust in the collection. So I need to back it up because this is a huge piece, folks. You can see it here on my review table. You guys have seen a lot of pieces on here. This piece is absolutely enormous. I just barely got the base. That's what delayed the whole thing. UPS delayed delivering the base. I just got it. So I can finally showcase it to all of you. So this was shown at Monster Palooza. Uh, and of course I couldn't tell everyone it was mine until I actually received it. Blue Box Hyper asked me not to advise that it was mine. They didn't want it to affect the show or anything. And then they shipped it a few days later because at the event it was actually not completed. If you saw it at the event, it did not have any of this armor, any of this armor. The hand punched hair was only up to right here, not the top of the ear like it is in the game. He had no eyelashes, no lower belt. There was no ruins on the logo. So I was missing quite a few things, you know, like I think even fingernails, you know, so they spent an extra two days finishing this up. This was a project that took about six months to complete. I came in about three months in when, you know, I'd asked them about it. Like, hey, I've been asking them for five plus years. Are you making a Kratos life-size bus? Because they made the full life-size a few years back. And I almost bought that. It was 20 grand though. And I think they actually only made one for Sony. Uh, but they told me I could buy the prototype of this Kratos bus for Monster Palooza. It cost me 10 grand, not including the Mimir that they showed at the event. That was also for sale separately at the event for three grand. Someone else bought that. So I just used my Mimir. Now, technically, the Mimir at the event was God of War 1, where he only had one eye. The beard did not have all the braids or beads in it. Uh, this is Ragnarok Mimir. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, and this is the very first God of War costume from the first of the game. That's why there's no blades of chaos and chains on his wrist. They run it to portray Kratos, you know, from the first half of the game before, you know, he got his blades of chaos when he just got Mimir. That's kind of the gist of it. But let's go ahead and review this piece in typical fashion. And I'll tell you guys why I believe this is the greatest collectible ever made. So first off, let's check out this space. So you got, uh, you know... Stoned themed base with a giant God of War logo, you know, same as my tattoo. As you can see, it's like sculpted into it. The base is really just dark gray and black, but it has a really nice sculpt surrounding Kratos. It's very big. As you can see, it hangs off this entire shelf and this is 22 inches. So I believe the base is about two feet in diameter. I'll get official measurements. You know, here's the back of it. Now, those who are going to be asking, yes, I'm still getting my other Kratos bus. I'm very excited to get it. I have plans to display both in the collection. That one is, you know, of course, holding his Chains of Chaos. And uh, it's much different in many ways. You know, open mouth roaring where this is more of a calm one. You know, of course, you know, this one being Blue Box Hyper and Full Silicone. Of course, you know, this is the, the one for me, uh, in terms of like what is better, but I still think the owner one is absolutely freaking fantastic. Now, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you can ask, are they gonna be mass producing this? The answer to that is maybe. Uh, as of right now, the plans are no. And that is one reason I took the risk to spend 10 grand on this, because I did not wanna risk that. They told me they might make five more, might, in the very distant future but most likely they won't due to licensing and their relationship with Santa Monica because they do not have the license to make this. So most likely there will not be another blue box hyper Kratos bust out there. If there is, it would be years from now. It'll probably cost seven grand plus because Mamir alone is 2,100, you know? So when you include everything else, you're looking at at least seven G's for a production unit and probably several years out. So, 
Uh, that's if they make it. There's a very high likelihood they won't make any more, folks. So it's most likely Flankster will be the only one in the world to ever own this. And do not ask me if I'm selling it. The answer is flat out no. This is a lifer for me. I immediately threw away the boxes. Granted, the boxes were crap. So yeah, the base overall, it's massive. It looks great. No, it's not my favorite base of all my busts. That is not why I bought it though. But the base does complement the statue quite well. But the main highlight, of course, is this. So this is the most silicone in any life-size bust I own. You know, other ones that have a lot of silicone, you know, like Khaleesi, her full arm, middle chest, and neck and face. You know, and all my other, like, Infinity Studios are generally either hands or arms. Wonder Woman also has a lot of silicone or full back, full arms, upper part of the chest. This is entirely silicone. From the bottom of his basically belly button to the top of his head is full silicone. So it's a full silicone half torso bust, you know, with, you know, of course, his ash skin, his tattoos and scars and all the armor is placed on top of the silicone. You know, we're like other companies like Queen, they wouldn't make this silicone. They'd make this polystone and this would be the only silicone part. This is full silicone underneath and it has the wraps, like the bloody wraps underneath that. So if I removed that armor, as you saw at Monster Palooza, it had the bloody wraps around it, not this. So it's extremely, you know, accurate to the game. Because at the very beginning, it showed Kratos wrapping the bloody wraps around and then putting on this armor. So, yeah, that is extremely cool. That is that authentic. You know, so let's check out this skin, though, because in pictures, it's really hard to see. You know, like from this distance, it's hard to see. But this has incredible skin. You know, check out first the red. So as you'll notice, you can actually see the ash skin underneath this red. You know, and it has very perfect lines and very accurate in terms of how the whole tattoos are done and where they get bigger and smaller. But the red to ash skin showing underneath it, just like the game, is portrayed perfectly. And then look at the ash skin. It looks extremely well done. You know, it's like perfect looking. So the skin tone and tattoos are absolutely perfect. Uh, so I really love that. The armor is all like real high quality, like leather, and everything, you know, I believe this, I think that's polystone, but it feels really hard. I don't wanna, of course, break anything. This ax is real wood and then a polystone head, and it's very well detailed. You know, it has all the, you know, hand carved things. It doesn't even have the gems in here, which you add later on in the game, you know, to give you like power ups. It doesn't have that. It has a really nice pattern design that they etched into this, you know, like this is real wood and then leather straps. Uh, it does come in two pieces and then you attach it to the silicone hand. It's, you know, slightly flexible. Uh, big metal rod that secures it, you know, attaches right here on each arm. And then of course the body to the base. And then you also attach my mirror. So absolutely massive, you know, like look at the size of Kratos next to my fist. Now I'm a big guy, folks. I'm six foot four, 260 pounds. Kratos in the video game is advertised at seven feet. In the original game, he's eight feet, but in the Norse one, he is seven feet tall. So basically like a basketball player, if you think about it. And he definitely has that height. Measuring from the bottom of his belly button to the top of his head is 34 inches. I am 28 inches. So I think the scaling is perfect. His biceps are massive, bigger than mine. These are like Hulk Hogan biceps, folks. 25 inch pythons, I'm telling you. You know, so it looks extremely well done in terms of scaling. Uh, let's look at the rest of the armor. So you have this part and this is very accurate to the game. This feels almost like, I swear this feels like rabbit skin almost. Then you have all this fur back here. This is where you'd hang his ax. That's extremely well done. And then these giant uh, shoulder pads, it's like three tiers. This one ties under the arm. You know, like look at the etching in this leather, you know, all this hand stitching. I think they just made all this by themselves and it's extremely well done and high quality. You know, like real leather, all very high quality. This is sculpted in just like in the video game. He has these chain sort of like scars, you know, and they're a little pinkish. They look extremely well done. Now, and this is very high quality material all right here. 
see the veins in his hands, just like, you know, my hand, for example. I'm not super veiny right now. Uh, for the fingernails, they did uh, sort of like just fake fingernails. They look good, though. More or less, they're just glued on and it's sculpted down low. Now, there's a little bit of flexibility in this. In this, I basically pulled it open. I tied one thing around, and it's kind of just holding it by force. But, you know, you can see it's holding Mimir. And in case you guys never saw my actual Mimir review, in my opinion, that Mimir head is the most detailed head in my collection for a human head. Like, it is absolutely insanely detailed. It has a light up, of course. Check out the lower belt armor. Now, my other Kratos bus, you know, this one only has the top part of the belt. The other owner one has the full belt. So it's going to be real interesting to compare the two. You know, because owners is, I, I believe this is, I'm going to have to measure the height of this, but owners is like nearly 40 inches tall. And they look the same scale, like comparing the hands of the two, you know, like compare the hands. When owner compared his hand to his bust, is it the same scaling as this one? So I'm curious if that one's even bigger than this. I haven't measured to the top of the head with the base because I just barely got this base, folks. You know, check out uh, this front, like straps and everything can see where this buckles in. This is not a working buckle, they told me. And then the fur. They got the sizing of this perfectly accurate as well, where you can still see like the nipple underneath and all that belly, uh, the scar. His actual belly button is right down there. That's not his belly button, that's part of the scar. The one thing I think they should have did is angled that scar slightly more that way. Because looking at the video game, it's a little bit more angled. So I'd say the scar is slightly inaccurate. Everything else is pretty much bang on accurate with this thing. And of course, you guys have already seen my Mimir, which this thing is just freakishly good. You know, and I could theoretically change out this axe to like a level six axe, you know, sort of like my other axe. And that one's a little too small for this bust. I need to get a bigger one. But if I did want to change out this axe, I absolutely could. And if I wanted to buy uh, God of War 1, Mimir, I also could as well. Like Blue Box said they'd sell me one. So let's check out this portrait. So when I compare this portrait to the video game, because I'm playing Ragnarok right now, granted Ragnarok, he's a little older, has a little bit more grays in his beard. I think this accuracy is like perfect. It looks just like Kratos. They got the, you know, and I just beat the 2018 one, which is what this is from, but they got all the wrinkles right here, right here. Perfect. They definitely made him that really aged look. They got this scar done perfectly. His beard is done perfect from the height to the top of the ear to how low it goes. They did it perfectly and it has a, just the right amount of grays, has some browns and blacks, you know, so multiple colors. I would say about three colors, but they nailed the beard perfectly, you know. And then, of course, this is custom glass eyes by Blue Box. You know, so this eye color is perfect. You know, I was looking at Kratos in the video game and he does have sort of like orange, brownish, yellowish eyes. And I think they nailed it. He also has really fine, zoom in, uh, eyelashes you can see right there. Extremely well done, like perfect. You know, so likeness is, you know, 100% on this thing. It's, you know, you see it, you know this is Kratos. And you're just thinking, boy head and just how badass this character is so the likeness is absolutely perfect looking at it from right now standing up this is something that definitely needs to be top shelf i can't see the eyes at this level now gizmo's still in my spot but let's see how it would look sitting down yeah i can still see it from sitting down i can see it you know, because I thought with this bust, there's two ways I can display this. One is just right here. Just keep right there. Throw a God of War video game and a prop right here. Because I am getting the Bifrost lamp, which I'm going to display just like right here next to it. Because he always hangs out on his hip right there. Granted, my mirror's there, so I'll just place it right here. But Bifrost lamp and the God of War video game, you know, which I actually have Ragnarok right here, as you can see. You know, but theoretically, we could do that, you know, place this directly here in the main room. So it's definitely an option. Now, the axe is very big. It is over three feet long, folks. You know, I put it on my shoulders. It's definitely, 
you know, accurate in terms of scaling. Alrighty, folks, so let's talk measurements. So to the top of Kratos's head from the bottom of base is about 39 inches. The owner one was slightly taller. That could be due to the fact it has a little bit extra of the belt. And I don't know how big the bases are, but they look somewhat similar. Top of the axe, 41 inches. Width is about 33. Depth, when you include that axe to basically the back of the base is about 37 inches. So it's definitely an absolutely massive piece for sure. It takes up a lot of space. I haven't lifted the entire bust, but Kratos with Mimir and the axe is pretty heavy. You know, like his box weighed 67 pounds, the base weighed 20 pounds. So I mean, it could be like an 80 pound bust. I'm gonna have to take it apart and move it in the you know video game room. But you know, there's two ways I will display this. One, just right here. Second, you know, we're gonna come here in the video game room, which is where I'm gonna put it next. Cause I, like I said, I do wanna get it higher. Now it's gonna go, of course, right there in the corner. Right here, should fit great, you know, and having clicker bust there. But here's the thing. So I wanna try the owner bust right here and move clicker right there, lower those two and put some statues out in the hallway. So it could be owner bust, diorama, blue box bust, you know, and then have a mirror here, the two silicones on each side of the wall. I think that could look great. I also theoretically could put the, own, uh, the owner bust right there and blue box here. Although blue box is deeper, owner's only like 26 inches deep. I just worry the blades might block this. So one plan of well is just do the owner bust over here, you know, and keep Last of Us here, and keep uh, blue box out in the main room. Or blue box here, owner in the main room. There's a few options. For now, we're gonna put blue box here. I wanna see it up high, how it looks next to this Kratos. You know, and this is the Bifrost lamp, in case you guys were wondering what the heck. It's that. He uses it to open the Bifrost in the video game. You know? So, like I said, uh, that axe is too small to put on the bust. Wouldn't look good. However, I have been looking at a custom one that's the exact same size, or actually slightly bigger than the one on the bust. It is pretty pricey, though, like 900 bucks. It looks incredible, though. Like, it looks just as good as that, but bigger. And so, I'm considering selling that one to get the other one, and then I have a swap out for the bust. No, so if I want to display that version on the bust, I could. Or I may just keep that there and save my money, you know, because I still think the axe looks phenomenal on it. You know, I think Blue Box did an absolute stellar job on this bust. But for me, this is the greatest collectible ever for multiple reasons. One has Mimir, which, like I said, is the most detailed head out there. Two, the entire body is the most silicone of any bust out there. So that right there, you know, is a huge deal in my opinion. Absolute premium armor. He's holding a head, a severed head, that's extremely detailed, and a full-length axe. You know, the Leviathan axe, which is super badass. It just looks overall incredibly good. The face is 100% accurate and perfect likeness, perfect detail. This is, you know, perfect detail. Just as good, if not better, than anything I've seen from Infinity Studios, Queen Studios, any other studio out there. It's absolute top-notch quality, you know, just as good, if not better than like Khaleesi, Alita, ECC, anything. So it's absolute perfect. Kratos is also like my favorite character. If you guys have played the God of War series, you know how incredibly badass his story is and such a cool character, you know, from the Greek days, you know, killing all the gods to Norse, raising his son and just so many epic moments, even just like God of War Ragnarok, the very first moment when you meet Thor and Odin and Odin offers a deal, and Kratos is like, no. <laughs> so confident, and then fights Thor. Such an epic battle. You know, so epic. You know, and this is accurate to fit that as well. Like, I'm not gonna do it because I wanna scratch it, but I scaled them up. That is perfect to scale to hold that ax, by the way. You know, so there are some things I could do if I wanted to like, improve upon this. There are things uh, I think are missing that my other Kratos bus does have, which I do like. One, this does not have the shield, the retractable shield. Theoretically, there should be a retractable shield right here. He had it from the moment the video game started. Blue Box, for some reason, didn't want to put it. My other Kratos bus has it. 
So that's a big deal to me. Secondly, there's no chains. I still prefer the chains because that to me is Kratos. Now I can add chains. I could just go buy some chains and wrap it around them if I wanted to. I probably am not going to just because I'm getting my other bus and that one will have the chains. I am most likely uh, gonna change out the armor on the owner bus to Ragnarok armor. Plus his has a blue logo, like it comes with red and blue. I'll do blue logo, Ragnarok armor, and in essence have that as my Ragnarok bust. Now, Blue Box told me they could also make me a Ragnarok armor for this as well. Frankly, I don't even know how I would take all this armor off. I think it'd be easier on owner's bust. This looks super solid, like attached. So I don't really wanna touch anything on this. I'm just gonna keep this as is, not touch anything. Uh, you know, the only thing I'd consider is changing out the ax. Other than that, you know, I'm gonna keep it as is. Owners, most likely I'll be changing out to Ragnarok armor with the blue logo. And I'm playing the game right now and I really wanna decide which game is better, Ragnarok or the original? Because they both have so many cool things I love about them. Now there's definitely like upgraded fighting in Ragnarok, that's for sure. But when it comes to overall story and everything else, which one is better? I'm playing them back to back, so I'll let you guys know. But yeah, for me, you know, Kratos is my favorite character. This boss is perfect. You know, it's like, how, how cooler could you get with a concept holding Mimir in an axe? You know, perfect detail, perfect scaling. I mean, just look how big those freaking shoulders are. Traps, absolutely flawless. You know, this to me is the greatest collectible ever made. Well worth the money. And it's something truly special and unique that I now own that no one else does. And once I get my owner, Kratos, I'll have the two best Kratos busts in the world and both are prototypes. So something truly special for my collection considering how much I love God of War and Kratos. I love it way more than pretty much every other character out there. The only other characters to me that are, you know, that I like nearly as much is of course, Vegeta. You know, Vegeta right there. Frickin' Scorpion, Mortal Kombat X Scorpion, and Thanos. Those are my favorite. You know, and Thanos bus is a truly epic piece. It is beyond such a grail but I do like Kratos more. It has full silicone, the face I like more, his accessories are better. Now I love the Infinity Gauntlet, it is so badass. And if this didn't hold Mimir, I would, you know, give Thanos the up on that terms. But because this is full double arms, holding Mimir and the ax, it makes it to that number one slot in my opinion. Anyways folks, let's go ahead and move this in the video game room, I'm gonna take off Probably both arms and maybe even the base. I'm probably going to take the whole thing apart uh, just to make it safe. Uh, and we'll go ahead and transport it next into the other room. This is to quickly show you guys without the arms what it looks like. So it has these giant rods that go in like eight inches on each side. Alrighty, folks. So here he is all set up. I did add some old Blu-rays underneath so he could go over this bar. I still have... Good amount of depth actually in the back if I want to scoot them back a little bit more. Uh, the only thing is, due to the way my mirror hangs, if you want his beard kind of like flowing down, you kind of want him over an edge. Otherwise, his beard will be hitting the ground right here, as you see. So here he is. Let's back it up. Okay, yeah. Good height to uh, clicker, as you can see. And I still have decent amount of space right here where I could definitely scoot this over a few inches. Like I said, I'm going to put the Bifrost right here. So I could still scoot this over a tiny bit, uh, maybe like an inch or two. I'll probably do that. Uh, just scoot over a little bit. I can only scoot Kratos over so, mar so much because he does need to rest on this. So I could probably scoot him over one inch. So I'll scoot it over one inch, one inch, have enough space for the Bifrost. I do have this old Mimir base, of course. You know, I was trying to think, should I just throw that in the storage or should I throw it back here? I mean, theoretically it could fit there. If I wanted to put it just like as background. I could theoretically do that, but I don't think that looks very good. It's okay. You know, it says Mimir and it has like the tree he was cut off from. I could also throw my God of War 3D printed logo right here. Just, I just used some museum putty. That actually looks pretty cool right there. Like, I do like that. Definitely not the Mimir though. I think it's best we just put that in storage. 
Alrighty, folks, I did move this over just a tad bit. You also notice I don't even have him all the way to the left. So yeah, like I said, we got a few display options here. We could throw the owner one right here and it's pretty wide. It'd take up that entire space more or less. Or we could keep clicker here and just throw the Last of Us 1 dial there. Now, I, I still want the Last of Us 2 dial, you know, with Ellie and Abby. Uh, I'd love to get that. Although, if we do Last of Us here, there's, of course, no space for it. You know, we can do clicker over here. We could also theoretically lower this. And if we move some statues out, you know, you could form space. I could technically do God of War along this wall as well, you know, but Blue Box Hyper uh, is a huge bust, as you guys see, like it completely just towers over this. That's 28 inches tall. And this is 41 inches tall, which is even taller than this guy who's like 30, I think he's like 38. Kratos's head is a tad taller. And of course he's also on top of a Blu-ray, you know, Mimir has his light up eyes. His eyes are so incredibly cool. Yeah, height-wise, this is definitely good. Like, standing up, I can see Kratos straight in the face. Like, my eye is level to his eye. Now, let's uh, turn off, you know, Mimir's light up just because, you know, it's not how it's going to be the majority of the time. So. Check it out, folks. Boom. Can you imagine how epic it would be to have two Kratos busts, though? Like, oh my gosh. Absolutely crazy, folks. So we're definitely going to try the owner bust right here. I, I think it'll be crazy to see them, you know, like, more or less side by side. Of course, the Prime 1 Dio in the middle. Yeah, and I think Blue Box has to go, like, either right there or right there. Those are the only two spots really in this room that works pretty good. I mean, if you put it right here, his axe would be blocking the DBZ display. I, mean, I suppose you could technically do it right here in the middle. Anyways, folks, I'm super excited and happy to finally own this. I have wanted a half-scale silicone Kratos bus from Blue Box for five plus years. I've been begging them, and I'm super happy to own the prototype. It is magnificent in so many freaking ways. So definitely now my favorite statue in my collection. I just gotta decide how I want this room displayed. I'm gonna do a few photoshops and decide how I want it. You know, if we wanna do just Last of Us one dio and owner bust out the main room or... The only thing I worry about doing owner here is it's not silicone and I'm worried the, the detail between the two, like the skin texture, like up close detail uh, will be like a huge gap. And if that's the case, I don't want them displayed next to each other. I'd prefer them separate, if you know what I mean. We'll figure that out when I get that. It's supposed to be shipping like any day now, then I'll have it in a few weeks. But Blue Box Hyper, 10 out of 10 grill in every possible way, folks. Absolutely love it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.